What is up guys, Major Magpie, and welcome back to City Skylines, this is my city of Magtropolis. And uh, last episode we made a start, uh, prepping the land for over here, our well, what is going to be our new transport hub, our new transport centre, bit of everything going in here. Um, but this is what I've been doing off cam guys, I have just redone all of this area here, we've just all at the height ever so slightly... Uh, and I've put in this big seawall here, which I think looks pretty awesome. By the time I get some foliage in and around here, this is going to look pretty cool. What I wanted to go ahead and do to start this one, guys, is to start our... Wait, start putting stuff in for our transport hub. Before we do that, though, I do need to redo this road here. You can see, it's got a lovely big dish in the middle which I do want to take out. So what we are going to go ahead and do then is move some guys on. We're going to do a bit, bit of dezoning, de if I can get my words out. Uh, we'll get rid of these guys here. Basically what I want to do is get rid of everybody probably up to about here for now. You can't enter this part of the city from the top end here because we're going to remove all of this road. So we're going to just remove all of these guys. We'll have to alter all these roads. I do want to run a tram up here as well, which I've, I've thought about considerably. And I'm determined I'm going to make it work. I would like to get another tram line in here. So I'll probably make a start on that this episode and then I can tidy that up off cam because that is a little bit on the tedious side. Yeah, but we'll get rid of these guys first. Um, and then we can see where we're at. Hopefully these guys will just move elsewhere. Right, there we go. Give them guys a chance to move off. I do know there's a fire station and I think a police station in there somewhere, but... Uh, okay. What I want to go ahead and do is just put a road in off here so we can keep everything square. I think. So this will just be a temporary road. I'm just going to go with that. We're going to run it straight through to there. Let's have a look at the height of this. Yeah, it doesn't seem to... Uh, to angle any, so I'm going to go ahead and just remove that bit there. There we go. And fire station. We will relocate you up to there. And the hospital. Just relocate you over to... Actually, we'll move you to there. If I can get you to squeeze you in. Can we squeeze you in? There we go. Put you there. And there we go. Right, while we're waiting for them guys to disperse and hopefully move to another part of our city, I just want to go ahead down here. I said at the end of the last episode I wasn't sure whether I was going to relocate our harbour. I am. I've decided we're going to change the harbour and relocate it. Now, quite a few episodes ago we put this harbour in over here. Um, St. Pauli, Londonsbrücken. Yeah, I can't see it. Um, it's burnt down because we didn't connect the road up so the fire services couldn't get to it. So, yeah, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> so we might as well get rid of it, it's costing us money and it's just a big pile of charred wood. Um, so basically I want to put that in down here and we're going to move this one from here. So I've gone ahead and prepared the land down here, we've got our seawall in there, this is looking pretty cool down here, I do like that. Um, but if we can go ahead and get our harbour, our new look harbour even. It's this one here, the St. Pauli Lundumsbrücken. Probably seen it all wrong, but yeah, I want to get this as square onto here as we can get it. Which doesn't look like it's going to be easy. I might have to go with that shape. Just have a look and see where the ferry route goes. Um, hmm. The only thing that bothers us about doing that shape is... I'm going to pause time actually while we do it. I'm just going to change this height. Uh, I'm just going to move something like that. Let's see if we can change the angle of this ever so slightly. Um, but yeah, right. Let's get our ferry back again. Can we square it onto there? Or is it, it's just not going to let us. There's a little bit of a pain, but you know what it is? We're going to put it in there. Uh, we'll just move it over ever so slightly, probably to about there. Boom. 
That does look alright. Yeah, looks cool in here. Uh, I'm just gonna remove that. I'll move that down to here for now. It's not staying there, but as a temporary location, it'll do. Uh, okay. Uh, let's just go and have a quick look. Actually, no, I'll come back to this bit because then buildings will have moved on by now, surely. Um, basically, I want to just put a corner piece on there for our seawall. We've got a straight. If I can put a corner piece like that on here and bring it around that way, that would be pretty awesome. And that would just tidy up all them loose edges. I can go ahead and tinker with that off cam though because I've got a fancy that once I start uh, altering the height to this, it's going to start sinking into the water. So it'll probably be a little bit on the finicky side. Uh, meanwhile, these guys still haven't moved. We've got a police station in here. That is relocated, so that will not be too difficult. We'll move you all the way over there for now. And this is just a pair, just a random building that refuses to move. So it's gone. All right. Now I want to go ahead and remove all of these roads in and around here. So hold those. This. Um, all of this as well. That as well. Right, let's go ahead and reset this height. We got our landscaping tools, and we want this height here. You know, all the way through. Uh, we need all this level for putting our tram in. I do, like I say, I do want to run the tram up here. We're going to run an avenue up here and an avenue up here, um, and just relocate this little bit of a hub here somewhere around the top near the train station, uh, and then our tram can run to there and then return back on itself. Or we'll just do a full loop. I'm not sure yet, although I am. Leaning towards the full loop, I think it would look pretty cool. Um, but for now, just want this. I wish I could make this tool bigger so we could level a bit more, like level it quicker. Never mind, this will just do. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these trees, guys, because I'm not sure where I've done, and where I've leveled. Right, we seem to have getting just about everywhere. There's a little lump there that I can see. Uh, but other than that, everything looks pretty cool. Right, what I do want to do then is get our road. I'm going to go with a sample reservation of grass. I'm going to run that straight from there, connect that to there, and then run you all the way through to probably about there, nice on, nice and level. And then probably, yeah, let's upgrade this, keep all of this, I think. And let's put our zoning areas, yeah. Right, for the tram, we are going to need a bus laney thing of thingamajiggy. So I'm going to go with two lane, one... You know, no. Two lane. With a lane going in each direction. Uh, and we're going to run that on the back of here. And that road's not straight, which is very, very annoying. Okay, guys, so I've gone and I've figured it out and I've fixed it. And it works now, so um, just pop our bus lane in now. Uh, that's, we're going to go over the two lane with the grass verge on the edge, because that's where the tram line's sitting better. And I've just realised what I'm doing, actually, this is wrong. So, basically, to put the tram in, the tram will not attach to... Uh, I'll just demonstrate. I don't know if you, any of you guys have seen the tram episode, some of you would have. Um, basically, these are our tram lines here. We've got tram track short. Now, they'll snap to a normal road, but they will not snap to a bus lane. So, what, I know, what I've been doing in the past is changing this to just a footpath. Just downgrade that, if you like, to a footpath. And there we go. And then we put our tram line on it. And then we upgrade it back to a bus lane. Uh, and the reason we do that, we don't just keep it as a footpath, is one, because the lampposts are on, and two, because you can't see the tram tracks on a footpath. You can only see the tram tracks on a road. I'm not really sure. I'll, you'll see what I mean in a second. Um, but if we just go ahead and do, I'll continue that through there for now. 
Um, we are going to do a little bit of zoning while we're in here. I'm going to zone. This is offices. All of this here. I'm only going to do. Actually, yeah, I'm only going to do that side for now. We're going to put our train station probably a little bit further up. Yeah, right. I'm going to go with a two lane road of a grass reservation, grass side bits. Uh, straight, and um, we're going to run it probably there, like that. Way through to about there. It'll be all that ever so slightly. I'm going to do some train lines and then we can drop back on the tram there. Do a little bit of the tram and then I'll pick that up off cam. Ha, <laughs> tram cam. I'm being a put. Uh, yeah. What are we looking for? We're looking for trains. Now, I've selected three train stations, and this is based on train stations that disappeared. If you remember, just the la end of the last episode, I was on about train stations that disappeared, this one, and our big one over here. Now, I found a train station that's very, very similar, and I'm sure the name is similar as well, so I'm not sure if it's just been modded to change the look and it's taken it out of our city. Um, but it's the invisible ones here, so they're not too hard to find. We've got M1, which I'm sure the train station that was in over there, was an M1 point M. So yeah, this is going to be the main point of our um, train station. I'm going to start it probably about there. I'm feeling that means there. Let's have a look at this. I do like that. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? And it's even got a metro underneath it. Uh, so that's the first point. And I probably I was thinking maybe four somewhere between four to six lines coming in here for the train. Uh, so if we can get like maybe three of these, which actually sits nicely on there, doesn't it? So we can go one, two, three. So that now gives us four lines. Uh, should we put a fifth one in, maybe? No, we're not. I'm going to go get the last and final part of that station, which is here. It's the modern central station M3 point B. This module is the opposite, and it's for the six stop bus hub attached snap to M2 when connect roads pick bad, bad, pe bleh, bad peanut. Uh, so, yeah, 26,500. Let's have a look at this. So, yeah, that is the back of this station. All of that goes together. That actually looks very cool. I like that. Let's just have a look inside. It's very plain inside, it's just very mirrored, but it's it's going to fit in nicely around here. Um, but yeah. Bus station over the back here, and also our tram hub. Uh, I do have a bus station selected, or at least a base model to use. That's this thing here, the bus terminal uses buses and transports. A bus terminal uses buses to transport tourists to your city, so... This is what I want to put in the front here. And apparently the slope is too steep. I'm not sure exactly what slope to refer to because, yeah, it's pretty level. Would you like a slope? Would you like to be placed on water? I just need to change the, it ever so slightly so it lines up. I think that's as... Uh, the spot as we're going to get. So I'm just going to move that probably down to out there. Oh. Yeah. That's okay, right. Might as well attach these roads onto there. So we'll go and get our roads. We are just going to stick with the same model you use. So it's just that. And you're straight there. Uh, Yeah. Probably gonna alter that slightly. Maybe make this the tram track here. That probably wouldn't be a bad idea, actually. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Okay, so our tram track one's there. Let's just bring that road onto here. 
And we'll start putting some tram tracks in uh, and then out and do that off cam. So if we go and look at the tram tracks now. Um, right, let's make a start. We're gonna go with a 90 degree corner, which is there. Put that there. And we're gonna go with a long straight. That onto there. 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 I'll also put one on here just for good measure. Which it looks like I'm actually going to have to tweak because it doesn't line up quite properly and I know why it is. And if I just. Yeah. Hmm. I'll have to take another look at that bit then. But basically, get where I'm going with this. Uh, we'll just upgrade them roads there to. The bus lane, the lane going in each direction and the grass verge. You can see if you look at the, there where the path is, there's no tracks. If we upgrade this to bus lane, there's the tracks. There we go. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that off cam. Maybe just do a time-lapse video on the last one. It's been a while since we've done a time-lapse video. Uh, so yeah, in the next video, I'll show you guys me basically finishing off this. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this transport hub for now because it is pretty time consuming. Um, I want to drop across to here. And we're going to, going to go ahead and put in some unique buildings, I suppose. So we'll just go... Uh, oh. Try that again. Right, there we go. Let's just flam all of this. And I want to get a building, which is a level two, and it's this here. It's not really a building, it's more of a tent. It is a circus is in town. I'm going to put the circus here, guys. Uh, 25 grand. It's quite an expensive circus. So we're going to put that there. Let's have a look at this. Oh, look at the heifer lumps and horses. <laughs> right, so we've got a circus right beside our... Yeah. Huge tourist attractions, the Brandon Brigade and the Arc de Triomphe. Uh, I want to go ahead and just put in a footpath around the back of here. Uh, nothing special, just a footpath, footpath. If that makes any sense to you at all. So I'm just going to go and quickly go and grab one. We're going to go with um, probably just a normal footpath and freeform it. Uh, well, something like that. I don't know why that hasn't connected onto there. That's a little bit of pain. I'll just have to redo that bit. Probably there, there we go. That's connected that time. And basically, just go ahead and drop this back down to this height. Like so. And we're going to jump back into that path menu. You'll notice there was a load more rocks. Some of you might have noticed there was a load more rocks. Uh, we'll just get a couple of big ones. I'll show you what I want to do with this. Again, this is going to be taken up off calm. We're going to go with these 25 or 24 meter things. And I just want to add like a little rock face to this. Something along these lines. Something like that. Seven. Oh, there, enemies. But yeah, you, you get where I'm going with this. And um, basically, that is what I want to do. And I'll give that a nice rock face. We'll just run our train lines down and underneath there. Be pretty awesome. But yeah, it's the starting to take shape now. It is going to be time consuming. Um, like I said, we do want to put a depot in. We've got our new look. In um, Harbour, even in there, we'll get rid of that one. I'll do all of this off cam and tart all this up, make it look pretty cool. Um, but yeah, we we'll need to go ahead and fill all of this area. I'm gonna go ahead and play time. One thing I did want to do, guys, which I think would go cool in and around here, was put in a couple of more unique buildings. But one in particular was um, the Hard Rock Cafe. Uh, in fact, no, I want to put in another couple of guys. We've got a level three first. I want to go with this one here. We've got the Khalid Al-Atar Tower. Another Dubai-based skyscraper. 
Uh, and I was thinking maybe he's this down here, right on this corner, right where these guys have just set up shop. <laughs> Sorry, get out. One of G's. It's quite a skinny little building that, but well, it looks all right. It does it looks pretty cool. So there, hopefully the other buildings around it will grow just as tall. Uh, so that's our first um, unique building for this episode. Uh, we're going to go with... We're actually going to put Grand Circus in. That was also a unique building, even though it's a tent. <laughs> uh, Galaxy Tower next, another level 2. Let's go and look at this. Okay, guys. Here is the Galaxy Tower. It's 50 Gs. Uh, it's another building I'd like to put in and around this area down here. Probably, probably situated alongside our tram lines. We'll leave a gap of two. Yeah. yeah. Let's do that. Let's go there. It's a pretty snazzy looking building. Different shade and different colours, so yeah. Mix it up a little. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and put in the Hard Rock Cafe, guys. Probably need a square road to run off it, so I'm just going to quickly run a road up here. This is not staying this road, by the way. Run it that way. There we go. And I'm going to situate our Hard Rock Cafe on here, and then I'll re sculpture the road around it. So. It is a level 2 building. And here it is here. Hard Rock Cafe. 15 grand, so it's not particularly expensive. Uh, I want to put it as central to here as we can get it. Something like that will do, I think. 15 grand. That's pretty cool. I don't know what the camera's doing. It's having a moment. Yeah, I like that. Awesome. Uh, right. Last episode, guys, I did want to put in a building in here. We can go ahead and do it now because the water's subsided and everything was only you know, The only thing that was stopping was the fact that the water was proven to be an obstacle. So we couldn't place any buildings on it. Uh, the building in question was the Bank of America. I'm just going to get that. This is it here. And I wanted to place this here. Let's just have some pretty good illumination or nighttime illumination effects. Quite central. Uh, it's just over a quarter of a million. Uh, I'm going to go there. Let's just take a look at this from the ground up. Interested to see how this looks on a nighttime, I think. Hey, there's the lights. That looks okay. That looks okay. Um, yeah. What I would like to go and do now to leave this episode, guys, is to relocate our Burj Al Arab. Uh, I did try and start that last episode as well, but again, the water was being a bit of a pain in the backside, so yeah. This is where we want to put it. I'm going to go ahead and put in a couple of roads. So we're going to go with a uh, straight road to there. Just run a road off there to there and then to there. Right. And that road is all just temporary again. I'm going to change it as soon as we get this in. So let's take this across there. Put this little beastie here. Out there. Boom. Yeah, that's going to look pretty cool in and around here, right. I'm going to go ahead and just shape this up. Uh, and then I'm going to actually put in all foliage around it off cam. Put loads of rocks in and around its, its feet now. I just want to redo this road. Um, so yeah, I'll do all that off cam because it will be time consuming. 
just do all that, change all the water height, right? Cool, I'm gonna leave that like that for now, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode here as well. Um, next episode, we'll probably jump on and maybe do a little bit more of this. Um, I don't think I'm gonna have much of the tram line done for the next episode because I do intend to record the next episode straight away. Uh, I have a few more bits and pieces that I want to put in. Um, but yeah, I'll have a quick think about this and see if there's anything else we can do in the next episode. But yeah, until the next episode, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. And uh, yeah, this is going to look pretty awesome when it's done, I think. It's taken shape nicely, although it has been decimated compared to what it was. <laughs> hey! Thanks for watching, guys.